Cal State Fullerton students live in an earthquake prone state and the risk of an earthquake occurring is out there every day. California is expecting the big one, so next time you drop cover and hold on under the table, be prepared. Here are some tips from students and experts on how you could be prepared for an earthquake. I was talking to my friends about it last week and we're just talking about having cases of water um, and cans of food, you know, as storage if anything ever does happen. Fullerton Fire Captain Pete Gray explains how he prepares at his home. In my home, what we carry is enough for two days worth of water, any medications that you'll need. You need at least two weeks worth, and you also need enough food and canned food for that two week time frame also. Also, you'll need uh, your cell phone won't necessarily be operable, so a plan of attack, say for example, if you're away from the house and there's an earthquake, that your family members know where to meet up in case you cannot contact them. Susan Fisher, the Emergency Management Coordinator at Cal State Fullerton, explains how it's never too early to start prepping for an earthquake. Any kind of awareness, however much you start, if you start with a little bag in your apartment, you start with a bag in your car, that just means that those are reminders that, gee, maybe I should look in that bag, maybe I should make sure that the things that are really important to me to help me survive are actually there when I need them. So wherever you can start, that's the biggest thing. Earthquakes are unpredictable, so don't let one catch you off guard and be prepared with at least some water and snacks. At Cal State Fullerton, Roberto Muniz, CSUF News.